Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin and today I am going to show you how to take care of your investment if you purchased a Lone Star Grills pellet grill, a Yoder, uh, some offsets, if you got that uh, black heat paint on your grill. Uh, it's recommended from Lone Star Grills to uh, wipe down your, your pellet grill or your offset or whatever with a food grade mineral oil. And uh, I will have a link of it, link to this on my Amazon shop. I'm not sponsoring them, but if you want a quick link to find it, that's where it'll be. It'll be link will be below. Anyway, let's get to this and show you how to take care of your investment. Okay, so all you got to do is get a uh, paper towel or a cloth or whatever you want to use, and just spray it on. You can spray it on directly on. You can spray it on your paper towel, whatever you want to do. It will keep it looking like brand new. You want to spray the uh, entire outside coat or outside of your pellet grill, your offset, whatever. Even if you've had one sitting in the sun for a while, you can spray it with this and it will really clean it up. Now, another thing is like if you... Uh, If your hinges get wet and they start getting a little uh, uh, squeaky, you can squirt this in here. It'll help prevent your, your pit from getting rusty. Uh, and it's not going to get sticky like it would if you're using uh, canola oil or a Pam spray or something like that. <clears throat> the mineral oil will not get the dust and everything stuck on. So let's get this thing all wiped down. And there you go. Look at that nice, shiny, beautiful Lone Star Grills pellet grill. Okay, is it's just that easy? It takes about five minutes to wipe it down. Um, also, you know. If you have one of these, or a bigger one, or a different brand, uh, I'm also not sponsored by this uh, this A cover A cover it. This is actually a pretty decent cover. The material is nice and thick. This particular one fits my Lone Star grills. Twenty six bucks. <laughs> Not over 600 like the uh, Sunbrella one that you can order. Uh, obviously, if you want a custom fit, nice looking cover for it. Get the Sunbrella. I'm cheap. <laughs> Let's just say I'm frugal sometimes. I like to uh, save a little money here and there because, you know, hey, we got meat and stuff to cook on these things. So, speaking of meat, uh, oh, before I get going, uh, over at Lone Star Grills, they recommend doing this every two or every three to four weeks. So basically, anytime you're cleaning out your grill, get the dust from the pellets. It does, you know, you can empty your ash pot from underneath on this one. But anytime, you still got to go in and do a thorough clean. Probably going to be doing it once a month, depending on how much you use yours. And uh, if you just keep a bottle of this handy when you're cleaning, finish the clean, do the whole thing inside and out, and you're good to go. Now. Do you have to wait before you cook on it? No, you don't. You can put it on, you can start cooking right away. So, speaking of which, let's do some uh let's do some baby back ribs in this, all right? Let's do this. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I got these pellets at Sam's Club. They're bourbon barrel pellets by Smokehouse, American made that a subscriber suggested that I try. And here's our baby back ribs. I've got some Texas dust, barnyard pimp. I picked this up in Odessa, Texas a couple weeks ago. And you just want to put the rub all over these baby back ribs, top and bottom. 
got our uh, Lone Star grills up to 250 degrees. I'm going to put them on the bottom shelf, set them on there, scrunch them up, and let them go for three hours at 250. And just like that, I'm going to get the uh, foil ready. 321 type ribs with the butter, honey, and brown sugar. And get this all prepared up. We're going to pull those ribs out of the uh, pellet grill. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man. And then, of course, we're going to do the, uh, the butter, the honey, the brown sugar on the bottom side, too. This is a common way of doing uh, 321 ribs. We're not doing 321. We're doing three, one and a half, about 20. Okay, we're going to wrap these with foil and get it back on the pit. 250 still rolling for an hour and a half. All right, hour and a half later. Let's check these out. I love this shelf, just being able to slide it out like this. All right, let's peel open that foil. Ooh, hot, be careful. All right, they're looking good. Bottom side, let me flip these over real quick. Nice pull back on the bones. All right, I heated up some uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. You don't want to put cold sauce on there. I'm just going to put it on, and brush it. Nice coat on there. And I'm going to add some more of the Barnyard Pimp seasoning on top. Not too much, just adds another layer of flavor. Then instead of taking it out of the foil, I'm going to do a foil boat for the last 20 minutes. Keeps all the juices in there, keeps the moisture in there. And uh, it's a good way to do it. Pull up the ends, and slide this uh, back into the pit for 20 minutes. And just like that. 20 minutes has gone by, let me get my glove. <laughs> Slide these out of here and get these on to the tray. Mm, man, look at that. Don't those look delicious? <laughs> man, I just love ribs. Who doesn't? <laughs> look at the pullback on these baby bags. Look at all the meat on these. Man. All right. Let's check the underbelly. Everything looks good. Look at that. Cut them up. Look at these ribs. Look at the smoke ring on these. Let's go give these a taste test. All right, how about that? Baby back ribs on the Lone Star Grills pellet grill. You can't go wrong with baby back ribs. They're nice and meaty. Look at that. It's got a good little smoke ring there. You know, I mean, you know it's good. Mmm. Got a clean bone. Mm. <laughs> I love ribs. All right. In case you forgot, it is a food grade mineral oil, not just regular mineral oil. You know, like I said, you can use Pam spray or whatever. I've heard that guys use oil and then and then water. This is supposed to not attract any dust. It'll keep your pit looking brand new. Even if it's uh, a little faded right now, go give it a try. You'll bring it back to life. You'll remember what it looked like when it's new. All right, especially with your hinges, if you're getting any rust, spray it down. All right, thanks for watching. Um, you know. All right, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit. Okay, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. We got more cooks. And... All right, we'll see you on the next video.